What's going on guys, it's your boy Dontavius, and I'm back with another video like I am every single day. <laughs> What's new, right? Hope you guys are enjoying quarantine. Thank you guys for putting up my antics uh, in my uh, reaction to the top 35. I was a mess. Oh! And I'm actually glad I wasn't able to record some of it because I was messy. In today's video, you guys know there's a top nine, a new top nine. Recently, the um, voting for that period has come to an end, which a new voting period is now beginning. Again, support the girls you like. But for now, we do want to kind of assess and just talk about the, the current top nine girls. And this batch is, you know, it's pretty consistent from the previous top nines or top, you know, rankings or whatever. New faces uh, in this top nine, uh, or at least just one, I think. Uh, yeah. Or two really i'm gonna go one by one and just talk about some of their strengths and what they could add potentially to a girl group if this top nine were to stand in my opinion this top nine is pretty round off rounded off in terms of like you know looks and talent and marketability and just skills in general just it kind of rounds off really well and, and i think that if this top nine were to make it uh to the end which again there's a lot of girls that are left out that are just creeping into the top nine that i think would add a good amount to a final girl group as well again i say it over and over again but the girls in this show are super talented and a lot of them will find careers 100 percent after everything is said and done um but without further ado let's just jump right into it first we have aria jen uh she's uh, ranked nine and her story has been pretty um, up and down in terms of voting and rankings and stuff throughout the show. And I'm very proud of Arya Jin. She has definitely showed out and showed up to these competitions. And to where she is now, she definitely deserves it 100%. Uh, so I was looking at a lot of her videos and honestly, the mama performance, man, that performance is amazing. I'll have to do a deep analysis about that performance. I did see it live and um, I did a reaction to it. I need to look at that video again because they are amazing in that group. Her and Shaking, they're just... They're just crazy good. Um, and Arya Jen just has something like, she already has the base looks, but recently, especially like in the training room performance, I've been noticing her a lot more. She just has something about her that I think she would add a lot of um, all around talent to a final girl group. I know it's speaking too soon, but if she was paired with like a, a Yang Yu, like in like a final group, they would be the duo because they have similar personalities and I think they complement each other very well. Uh, in the um, performance um, R&B all night in the training room, every time those two were together, it was like a match made in heaven and I would love to see that more often. But anyway, Arya Jen, very proud of her. She definitely deserves where she's gonna be at. I'm looking forward to her next performance, but uh, for now, she definitely deserves to be uh, ranked nine. And for Snow Kong, I've talk, I talk about Snow Kong a lot. She's a she's a fan favorite and she's very talented. So she has both of those things working for her um, in terms of like voting process. But I think in terms of like an actual girl group, she deserves to be there as well. Sometimes she lacks a little confidence and that's okay. Uh, she has great teammates around her to be able to support her. I mean, this is not a I and team sort of situation. She always has great people around her to help her. And when she has good people, she's able to show out and to express everything that she has um, to, to give us as fans. And every time she goes on stage, she is just dynamic. She is so, she's so expressive and she has great dance moves and she's, she's pretty experienced. So um, it all comes to show when she's um, performing. The rate that Snow Kong is on, she's on a B line to top nine. She has that uh, confidence now. Alisa gave her that. Uh, that shout out uh, during the last uh, training session. She's where she needs to be mentally. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to where uh, she'll go in the future. With Kiki, so you guys know she had dropped down to rank seven. Honestly, I don't really care where she's at as long as she's in the top nine. She had 16 million votes and that's still a lot to me. Uh, well, sorry, anyone <laughs> would love that. I think Kiki, I think she is a little too hard on herself. I think she needs to give herself a little bit more credit because so many people love her. I love her with all of my being and soul. She is just amazing. She's, she's beautiful, she's sexy. She's got all the things going for her. And I think that if this top nine were to have a Kiki in it, there would be a lot of opportunities for a lot of different kinds of songs and she'd be a censor for a lot of them because she sets the tone very well in every single performance that she's in. R&B All Night took my breath away. And then in the Eve dance, it shows her versatility. So Kiki, keep your head up. You're gonna do awesome. And I'm looking forward to anything you do in the future. I think she's supposed to be like in a movie or something up coming up soon. I think I saw that in the comments. Anything she does, I'm gonna follow her career 100%. For Anchi, she's currently ranked six. Um, and for Anchi, she's also one of those ones. And this is the thing. There is not that much wiggle room in the top nine anymore. Maybe one or two spots. Three is really pushing it. 
in terms of being able to get into top nine. So it's like there's 35 girls all together and only nine places can be. But the top nine has been pretty consistent from the very beginning, aside from a few. And Anshi is one of those consistencies in the top nine because it wouldn't even it doesn't even sound right coming out of my mouth to say Anshi wouldn't make top nine. That doesn't make any sense. Like she's she's got everything you would need and more. She gives you more. And the tours, all the tours that they're going to be doing in the girl group, you know, if it stays together and everything on, she's going to be powering, powering through it. Um, and it's going to be riding on her a lot of the times. Her expressions are perfect. She's 100 percent professional when it comes to stage presence. And there's just if you were to see her live, you would definitely fall in love. People that watch her on TV fall in love. But what I love about her on stage is just, she's just so like dynamic and versatile and she's powerful. I love when women are just so powerful and Anshi, despite her height, she gives you that power and then some. Looking forward to seeing um, her in the uh, upcoming performance. And honestly, that performance is going to be insane. I cannot wait to look at that over and over and over again. And she's happy with the group she has and I'm happy that she's happy. With the Zhao Teng Zhao, I think she's had one of the more modest come ups. She, I looked at, I had to like go back to see what her original group performance was. That was overshadowed by like the Eve dance, the flammable and explosive, the play performance, um, bad guy, you know, grain in the ear, like all those kind of overshadowed the performance she did with the Bubble Zoo and, and those girls. And I think that because of some times like that where she hasn't had like the proper opportunity to shine, she hasn't had like accelerated bump ups in the rankings. So her increase in the bump ups have been steady, but now she's there. You know, like she was ranked lo as low as like a 61 in the beginning. And then she went 61, 10, 3, 42, 3, 2, 16, 5. Like that's like a gradual increase. So definitely proud of Xiao Teng Zhao for keeping up with it and being and being positive. I think that's the best thing. But my favorite thing about Xiao Teng Zhao is her is her attitude when it comes to everything. She's a great team player. She has great vibes all the time. I think, again, if you're gonna be in a girl group for a long time, you're gonna need a nice person to be there and make things like, make things worth it. I think there's a lot of girls in here that can probably be sassy, you know, when things get rough, but I think Xiao Teng Xiao will be one of those girls that keeps things all together. Definitely would love to see her in top nine if she makes it, and she would definitely deserve to be there. So for shaking, gonna make you move. She is one of my favorite girls, like, top three for my favorite girls and it's been since the beginning and i said it in my very very first video i made on youth with you but you know they were talking about how she had like no experience coming in but she does not care about that shaking is so explosive on stage like there's and she's a rapper too so her personality just it just bleeds everywhere and, it, and it's contagious in the mama performance man there were so many frames of her when she looked like she was like a deity from another world like a like a goddess like shaking is that dangerous i would definitely put all my money together and go fly out to china to see her live because shaking that is the show she's gonna make you move but man she's gonna make me move over overseas <laughs> to see her live because she is she's the shit. she's awesome and the last thing about shaking like shaking in terms of this competition she can't lose she can't lose she's unstoppable she's it's just it's just a beeline to success for her and i'm looking forward to seeing the end results for a hundred percent and if for yanyu yanyu she's ranked third and honestly there's not much to be said about yanyu she lets the stage speak for herself right she doesn't need me to validate her or to talk about her or whatever she just literally is that amazing i've made so much content just about yanyu on my channel and i even made a music video about her because it's easy when i look at her and listen to her and just appreciate her stage she it's fun for me because it's like i can tell how much she puts into it and how much she cares and it's in her eyes i say it all the time but those yan yu eyes i can't look away from them never like if 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 you were to see her in stage like and she gets those eyes you're like in another world you're in her world she definitely has like that that factor about her and she her dream is to have a perfect stage she's going to get there she's already had a couple perfect stages already right now she just needs to stick with it stay positive everything else will come to her if she just stays exactly the way she is and i'm looking forward to standing her with all of my heart for Lishan, so uh x queen make you crazy she is the most talented girl on the show 100 percent. i'm not even going to sugarcoat about it i'm not going to say anything that would even remotely contest to that Lishan, she's she is she is so good. I don't even have words about her. Like there's a feel for music that some people have, but she 
elevates that to a whole nother level that I've probably never seen in a long time, especially on a live stage. Like, Lucian, like, her dance moves, her singing, her vocals, like, I have not seen her make a mistake yet. And not only that, she's a great team player. Like, you guys already know, but from uh, Wanna See You, Miss You 3000, she carried both teams. She was essentially the leader of both teams. And then she even added her own spice on her own, on the own choreography that was already there for her. And it's like, she, everything that I hear about her, she doesn't cease to amaze me. And you guys in the comments, you, you guys love Lucian as, as much as I do, and that's awesome. She's gonna need great people like us to support her. So I appreciate you guys for continuing to give uh, X Queen love. I mean, I know she's, she appreciates it too, and we wanna see more performances from her. We can't get enough. We're we're addicted 100%. So for Esther Yu, Esther Yu in my very first video, I was saying how personally I wouldn't have put her in top nine in terms of like talent, but the girl group is way much more than talent at this point. And you guys kind of seen my my affinity for Esther grow a little bit more every single day as I make these videos. But that's because I'm appreciating her for what she what for what she is. Like she's she's an amazing girl. I think that's like the main reason why she is held top top spot for the longest time. It's just because if there is a girl group that comes out of this, Esther would be the adhesive that keeps it all together. She would be a great person to campaign with, to travel with, you know, to just just vibe with. And then on stage, she's so she has so much expressions. And again, all the shortcomings that she has talent wise, it can be learned. It's not going to be an issue. And she also um, acknowledged that she was saying, like, she's not as talented as most girls, but, you know, she still does very well to get better every single day. And it's like she could have easily been like, oh, I'm top seed. I don't have to try anymore. I don't got to do anything and be like that but she's not like that she in her speech she was talking about how she wants to be she wants to be better so i think that with esther we should people who don't like appreciate her appreciate her because she deserves appreciation and respect 100 percent for this top nine again i think it's a pretty rounded off group of girls um they have everything from rapping to dancing to great aesthetics to marketability to great vibes like and all these girls are awesome, but again, there's a lot of good girls outside of the top nine, which I'll talk about some of them in my personal top nine tomorrow. Today, we're gonna give all the shine to these nine girls because they deserve it. After everything that's happened and after all the eliminations and heartbreaks, these girls deserve the love right now, and that's what we should give them. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it for me. Be on the lookout for another video tomorrow. I have a different video coming out on Tuesday that I'm making that's not related to Youth With You, so I guess some of you may not like it. This show has been so awesome. I have, like, I was watching some of the uh, videos before watching this to kind of prep myself. Man, I have consumed so much of this content over the last couple of weeks, like, and I've enjoyed every second of it. It's so fun. I love this show, and I love these girls. It's going to come to an end one day, and that's going to be sad, but it's going to be all right because, you know... All good things come to an end. But then when it comes to an end, we have the girl group to appreciate. So it's been your boy, Dontavious. I appreciate you guys for tuning in today. I hope you guys are having a great week, a great weekend. I don't know when you're watching this, so I'm going to cover all the bases. And um, please be good to each other. Eat well, drink well, have good vibes, and be nice. This has been your boy, Dontavious. Have a great day, a great life. See you all next time. Bye-bye.